Hi, Mum. I'm not going to make the virtual quiz tonight. Yes, I know it's your birthday and we do it every year. And I realise that it starts in a couple of seconds. Yes, yes, I'm an adult now and I make my own choices. And I shouldn't be petrified of telling my mum how I really feel. Uncle Marcus, I didn't expect to hear from you. Hey, kid. Listen, I'm really sorry that I missed you at the family meeting last week. Work had this big case, and I, I tried to tell them that it was my last chance to see you. It's okay. It's okay. I understand. I know, but I, I really wanted to see you before you went back to LA. I've not seen you in so long. I'm sorry, too. More than you can possibly believe. What's up? Did something happen at the meeting? I mean, other than the we hate... Marcus Club shouting at you about how they could run the business better than you. Yeah. Something did happen, and that's why I needed to talk to you, Abby. I need your help. Yeah, of course. Anything. You know that. Um, what do you want me to do? I need you to investigate a murder. Oh, this is a prank, right? I wish. Murder? Who's been killed? Me. What? <gasps> I... I don't... I don't understand. I've been poisoned. Abby, I'm dying. And it was someone at the family meeting. The family? No. <laughs> no. My doctors have confirmed it. It's the only possible time it could have happened. Someone who was at the family meeting poisoned me. I don't know who, and I don't know how. But they did. But can't they treat you... Can't they... they don't know what the poison was. They're working on it, but they can't start treating me until they know. Well, there must be something that they can do. Uh, I did a lot of hard living in the 80s, kiddo. My body ain't what it used to be. And if they were to treat me with the wrong thing, that could kill me. Sorry, kiddo. How... how long... How long have I got? They say it's hours. This can't be real. That's why I need your help, Abby. I need you to find out who did this tonight. Me? No, I... I can't. I mean... How? <laughs> the quiz. Everyone's gonna be there, Abby. You need to question them. Find out who in the family wants me dead. What if... what if they find out what I'm doing? What... what will they think? Abby, I'm dying. Who cares what they think? Let me ask you a question, kid. Why are you working in law? Because, because, Mom, the family, they decided that that's what I should do. Exactly. And if you weren't part of this fucked up family and you weren't still looking for their approval, what would you be doing? You know what? Yeah, I know what. I just want you to say it again to make sure you haven't forgotten. I want to design games. So you need to shake them off, Abby. This whole rotten family, like I did. <laughs> well, you didn't shake them off too well. One of them's trying to kill you. Okay, you got, you got a point there, kiddo. <sighs> oh, shit. Mum's calling me. Don't answer it. Come on, Abby, ignore her, please. She knows how to leave a message. See? Wasn't that so hard? That felt weird. You know, your mom gave me a big pitch at the meeting. Told me that I should be selling my share to the rest of the family. I told her dad left me the business, and they would get my share only when they pried it from my cold, dead hands. I just kind of thought they'd wait a few years. <laughs> they would... they would never. You don't know that, Abby. Look, I've been having a lot of research done recently for my autobiography, and this family has got secrets, believe me. I wouldn't put anything past them. Well, I should really get to the quiz before Mom kills me. That wasn't meant to be a joke. I know. You can do this. I believe in you, Abby. You know them. You know what makes them tick, right? Use that to your advantage. What if I screw it up? Well, I am betting my life 
on that not happening. Okay. I'll try. I'll be here, listening. And I'll help as much as I can. Remember, Abby. Find the poison. Find the proof. Find the killer. I just don't understand why there always has to be this big song and dance about Flick's birthday. This isn't just about me, Jim. It's about us, the family, spending quality time together. And I'm sorry we don't do the same thing on your birthday. Not sure anyone really remembers when it is. Hi. Oh, Abby. Is that the big entrance you made us sit around for? Sorry, Mum. Right. Now we're all here together. Is there something everyone would like to say to me, considering what day it is? Well, we're all here, aren't we? What more do you want? A bloody parade? Want me to pull some fireworks out of my arsehole? I thought you'd be thanking me, June. Perfect excuse for a drink. What's your reason every other day of the week? You girls are as bad as each other. Pull your camera down, down. That better? Perfect, Mummy. I think we should all sing Mum Happy Birthday. Oh, Lottie, don't be so crass. Happy birthday is so bloody depressing. I don't even like the phrase. Do you know what they say in the Basque region? Zorianak hmm. Zuri. Isn't that delightful? Ah, uh, can everyone hear me? Great. Now listen, I actually think the birthdays are a really good time to do a little bit of a privilege audit, you know? Really take a look. And that's why they invented the mute button. So, where's Bradley the bedroom boy? Bradley, Her Royal Highness Auntie Felicity requests your presence. So do you want to get your pallid features in front of a webcam? Oh, it's nice of you to dress up for the occasion, Bradley. Who oh, don't you want to wish your auntie Zorian Akzuri? Uh, I don't know what that is, but, I mean, if this is about your birthday... If you I... say one syllable about birthdays just being a day closer to death, I will mute you like I muted your brother. <sighs> yeah, but that's what birthdays are, though. Signposts pointing towards the grave, you know? <sighs> Let's get on with the quiz before I mute you all. Hasn't anyone got something nice to say? Uh, happy birthday, Mum. What? Oh, Abby. <laughs> Completely forgotten you were there. Anyway, now, down to the first order of business. Whose turn is it to ask the first round of questions? Well, fine. Well, we'll have to pick someone. Who hasn't done one recently? Me. Not you. Abby. Come talk to me a second. Boy, they can't even pretend to like each other for five minutes, can they? I really don't think I could do this. Look, it's only asking questions. You know them. You just need to figure out how to get them talking. All right, and start simple. Just go back in there and see if you can figure out whose round is first. It's just like gathering evidence. Just give it a shot. Okay. Look, I'm sorry, okay? This part of East Africa, it's amazing, but 4G isn't a strong point. But all I'm saying is I might cut in and out. Well, I'm not going first, it's my birthday. Your mom's on the warpath, I would just leave her alone for now. I think your best chance of success is Probably speaking with Lottie, Toby. If you're feeling brave enough, Auntie June. But Mama, maybe because it's your birthday, that's why you should go first? No. Well, how about nobody goes first, and then we can all just fuck off to bed? Hiya, Auntie June. I uh, haven't seen you for a while. How have you been? Remarkable. 
Of all the conversational starters in the English language, that's the one you plump for. It's riveting. Well, sorry. I, I was going to ask about... Nothing. Uh, that was a disaster. I've had worse conversations with June. When I was 12, she cut up my shoelaces with a pair of scissors in front of me. And I was just sitting there thinking, I hope she stops at the shoelaces. Maybe try something different next time. I'm not sure if I want to next time. <laughs> you got to give it a try, kiddo. For now, come on, let's get back to the quiz. Oh, I can't stand this. If no one's going to volunteer, then I'll just decide. Lottie, you can go. I haven't prepared anything. The next words out of your mouth better be, yes, mum, or so help me God. Yes, mum. Oh, OK, I know. Um, I've got, like, a live Q&A next month with Studio Magazine, so you guys can help me prep. Just ask a fucking question, Lottie. OK, everyone pick your team, please. Toby, do you want to team up with me? Ah, uh, did someone just say my name? Yeah, I was asking if you wanted to... Sorry, gonna have to speak up. Signal's breaking up. Do you want to team up with me? Still can't hear anything. Do you want... Oh, Toby, just stop pricking about and team up with your brother. <sighs> Fine. Who's next? Teams? Yeah, I... Uh, I just need to go to the loo. Oh, Jesus Christ, Dad. What the hell is this quiz? Chaos. You play the whole thing in teams? Sort of. We pick a new team each round. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I can't remember how it started. Probably some doomed attempt to make things fair or avoid another fight. You know what they're like. I sure do, kid. I sh <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, I've been better. You better go pick a teammate. Oh, I'm not starting with Mummy. I'll be through this bottle before the first question. Well, you getting through that bottle has nothing to do with Mum. Girls, behave yourselves. What would your father say if he saw you like this? Why do you have to bring Daddy into everything? I mean, you're talking to us like we were children. June started it. Oh, so you want to be in a team with me? Well, at least you're not June. Did you like the present I got you? Mm, remind me? The earrings? Oh, yes, that's right. You think they suit me, do you? Well, I just think you look great in anything. OK, question one. Whenever I'm in Dubai, I go to Dimitri Chateau's. He does my favourite dish in the world. What is it? What a stupid question. How on earth am I supposed to keep track of every culinary fiasco that Lottie gets obsessed with? I mean, whatever it is, it will be some sort of bizarre vegetation, won't it? Is it trendy to eat a hedge now? Yeah, I haven't got a clue either. I, you're right, I, d I don't know how she expects us to know these. <laughs> Shall we just guess? You can think of something. Sure. Uh, Hunter's chicken? She likes that. <laughs> So the dish is called Humility. Even the name makes me feel sick. It's a specially prepared ketogenic hemp and tofu bowl served with wild quinoa. Oh, seriously unreal. Question two. I like to use my channel to help others. So which charity did I recently promote on my socials? Oh, I know this. Toby was arguing with her about it at the meeting. Kept saying it wasn't a real charity. At the meeting? Mm, Toby was going mad. He was on edge about something all evening. Never seen him so keen to be at the meeting. It's like he had something to get out of it. He didn't even come last year. Didn't he? Claimed he had a mindfulness retreat in the Cairngorms. Oh, I know what it was. It wasn't a charity. It was a fundraiser for an eco-fashion brand that was going out of business now. Green Pieces. That's what they were called. Was anyone else acting strange at the meeting? Oh, stop it, Abby. I don't want to talk about that now. Tonight's about family and fun. The two Fs. Don't make me add another. Christ, I tried some of Greenpeace's stuff once. It's all recycled. You're literally wearing someone else's rubbish. Disgusting. 
So green pieces, as in a piece of pie. How else would you spell it? The answer is green pieces. They're going through a really tough time right now, so it's like your perfect chance to give something back. You can find the donation link on my socials. How she can call that a charity, I don't know. <laughs> First time I've ever agreed with Toby. So why was Toby so keen to be at the meeting this time? <laughs> I don't know, he was on edge all evening. Kept trying to get Uncle Marcus on his own. Cornered him every time he stood up. <laughs> Marcus looked like he was being hunted down. God knows what all that was about. Um, just talk amongst yourselves, guys. When I have question three, I will shout. Sorry I missed the meeting, Mum. So you should be. It was the usual nightmare. Don't see why you should get to escape it. The one consolation, Marcus came off worse this time. I mean, I know you've hero-worshipped Batman ever since your father died, but he really is an awful prick. What happened? Oh, didn't anyone tell you? Auntie June knocked one of her foul-smelling candles right onto him. Christ knows what scent it was supposed to be. Cherry and toilet dunk, it smelt like. Something chemical, anyway. And Marcus's jumper started to burn instantly. So Toby threw his drink straight in Marcus's face, said he was trying to put out the flames. Now, how you missed by that much accidentally, I don't know. So then I poured Marcus's drink over him to actually put out the flames. Of course. And Marcus started shouting about Auntie June burning his hand. And Lottie came in with an old wet rack, which she said was cold, and started rubbing it on the burn. Then your nan found a first aid box and started trying to dress the wound. Bradley came in with, well, they were pills, he said they were painkillers. Would you trust anything Bradley gave you? Mm, I've got it. Okay, the internet loves me for my eyes and my unique style, but which of my special talents has recently got them obsessed? It was only a matter of time before she brought up singing. I, I think that she might mean something else. She can't do anything else. Well, she posted this video last week of her doing, like, this viral dance. Um, it was called The Shaker. You basically just shake your... You know. I can guess. Don't worry, Mum. Loads, loads of people are doing it. Loads of people aren't in this family, Abby. Just pick an answer. OK, I'll go with the shaker. The answer is singing. Last week, I did this collab on my channel with a girl who plays dubstep on the harp. It was so epic. Sorry, Mum. Well, it's hard when there's more than one talent to choose from. Wouldn't have that problem with you, would we, Abby? <laughs> Slim pickings there. Question four. How many dance championships did I win as a kid? God, she loves herself. Baffles me where she gets it from. Dance championships. I can work this out. Lottie only danced between 10 and 14, and there was a dance competition every... What was it? Every four months. Now, Lottie would never ask this question if she'd ever lost a competition. So, four years... A dance competition every four months, 12 months in a year, and... Oh, shit, no one in real life does maths without a calculator. Um, I've got one on my phone somewhere. Is it 12? Just be quick about it. The answer is an unbelievable 12 wins. My coach begged me to keep dancing. He'd never seen anyone like me, but, like... I think I made the right call leaving to find a new challenge. New challenge? She broke a toe through a massive hissy fit and quit. Someone else can go now. I'm getting, like, really low on my social battery. Oh, thank God that's over. Oh, um, Mum, I wanted to ask you a question. Yeah. OK. I am never teaming up with that freak again. I was only trying to make conversation. Uh, have you told Mum about your latest purchase? Huh? He's bought a gun, Mum. Literally the very gun that was used to murder that famous astronaut. No, it's not the exact gun, it's the same make of gun, right? There's a difference. Oh, for God's sake, you two. If I have to listen to you bickering any more, I'm going to come up to Bradley's room and blow my own brains out. Your mom's pretty tricky to talk to, but you did good, kid. I also have some new... Oh, 
Oh, news that could really help us. The doctors have managed to narrow the poison down to three possibilities. So let's take a look at what we have. Yeah, signal's not great here, guys, so uh, I'd rather do my round later. I can give it a go, as long as someone explains the rules to me again. Oh, no. <sighs> Look, I'll do my round. Let's try and bring some order and civility back to proceedings, shall we? Dare I even say a bit of class? <laughs> I shall perform a piece of music. One of the classics. Gold! Round our ballet. One point to me. No, I mean the true classics. No, true! That's another one. Two points to me. I'm talking about Mozart, Bach, Chopin. Actual geniuses. You don't care about geniuses. You only cared about Spandau Ballet and the saxophone players, tight trousers. Well, this may come as a shock to you, June, but some people's tastes mature with age. You're right. And you have aged. What are we playing? I shall perform a recognisable melody and you must simply tell me the name of the piece, or to make it easier for the slow ones, just tell me the name of the composer. So, we're playing Name That Tune, then? Yes, Mother, if you like. Fancy being with me, June? There's nothing I'd like more than to repeatedly explain what's going on to a slightly senile old woman over a dodgy internet connection. I mean, it's one of my favourite things. Well, I might ask a few questions. Well, come along, then. Let's get it over with. Mm, nimini pimini, nimini pimini, Millicent millipede multiplied majestically, Millicent millipede multiplied majestically. Hey, babe. Hi, Lottie, you okay? Just trying to figure out what I should wear for my live stream tonight. Don't know if I should wear a million or cerulean. I'd wear vermilion, 100%. You would? I'll wear cerulean. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Everyone listening? Good. <clears throat> la la la, la 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 la. La la la, la I mean, la, la, I recognise it, but I, la, yeah, I don't know the name. Bach, Toccata and Fugue in D minor. La, la, la. Oh, easy. Yes, that was quite an easy one. Vast to catch on fugue in D minor. Now, let me have a little think about what I'm going to do next. <laughs> How did you know that? Don't you remember? Mum used to play it all the time when we were kids. She even put it on at the meeting. It's like her hype song. Uh, she did? <laughs> yeah. She said something about it helping her gird her loins, whatever that means. Yeah. I think she was probably just trying to drown out the sound of all the arguments, to be honest. What happened at the meeting? Oh. Too much, babe. Second piece. La 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 la. Chopin, military polonaise. Really? Did did Mum play that at the meeting too? Uh, yeah, yeah. Abby, what are you doing? You gotta get back to the quiz, Abby. Abby! Did you just mute me? Uh, no. S something, uh, I think... Somebody mutes just... me, babe. No, yeah, I know. No one. Um, sorry. The answer I was looking for there was Chopin and his military polonaise. Abby, I'm very surprised you knew that. You getting some help from someone? Don't tell her I told you the answer. But, but you did know the answer. Just don't tell her I told you, okay? Mum, Lottie knew that one, and the one before, actually. Uh, Abby! Right, so you must be cheating then, because there's no way Lottie would know any of the answers to these. A few weeks ago, she told me she wanted to sample Mozart in a song. Mozart! <laughs> and she called him the blind one who played the violin. But... That's it. I'm not doing my round. I'm not risking vocal damage if you're just going to cheat. I told you! But you knew the answers. It's not fair. You weren't cheating. Of course I was cheating, Abby! Oh, 
I've got an app on my phone that recognises the songs. Oh. That's why I told you not to say anything. Oh, you're so dumb sometimes. <gasps> yeah, I am. Fabulous birthday so far, Flick. Do you think we're actually going to finish a single round this evening? Uncomfortable silence. My favourite. Hey, Abby. Jesus Christ, what the hell? They're on to me. Who? The killer. I got an email, anonymous, that they no, told me to Abby. stop or, or... Oh my God, I, I can't do this. I'm afraid it is too late for that. No, I can't, I told you. Abby. No, I'm not built for this shit. What are they gonna do to me? Abby, stop! <laughs> stop! <laughs> what, uh, Marcus? <laughs> are you okay? It's getting worse, Abby. I've got less time than I thought. Don't give up on me. You're the only chance I got. Please, Abby. Please. You okay? Okay, listen up, guys. Uh, my signal seems to have settled down a bit, yeah? So let's do my run now. But listen, I've got a pretty cool new spin on how to... Everyone get in teams. Right, yeah, 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 sure, cool. Yeah, let's start there. Uh, Lottie, will you... Ew, no. Don't let her talk to you like that, Bradley. Well, you say worse to him every day. The other day you called him a slug. That was affectionate. At least my Bradley's not a brainless, stuck-up little moron like Lottie. I'm not stuck-up. Do you, you ever? Speak to my daughter like that again, oh, and I'll... Flick, I didn't know you'd suddenly become interested in your children. Stop! I'll, like, team up with Bradley, whatever, if it'll save another argument. Cool. Let's just make this clear. You can team up with me, but that does not mean you can talk to me. Okay. We're gonna expand some minds here, guys. <laughs> hey, Auntie Felicity, look, just give me a chance, and I might just change your life for the better, yeah? Toby. The only way you can make my life better is if you never speak to me ever again. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. I've got a clever one on my team. You're the clever one, Nan. <laughs> Don't be daft. <laughs> OK, everyone concentrating, yeah? This is... It's a little bit different to your typical quiz round. I like to call these empathy exercises. Now, I'll give you a scenario, and you have to relate to that scenario with empathy. Huh? Sounds simple, right? Well, I don't know what he's on about. Great, let's go. Now, imagine you're very poor. You're 12 years old, and you're getting up before sunrise because you have to walk eight miles to get to school. What's going on? Who's walking to school? And, and how far did he say? Eight miles? Well, why don't they just catch the bus? The school must run one. Uh, um, T Toby's not talking about anyone real. It's uh, a hypothetical situation. Well, it doesn't sound funny to me. What? Oh, uh, no. Hypothetical. It means made up. Oh, right. So, what's the question? I don't know. <laughs> now picture this, halfway along this poor child's exhausting journey, he finds an old woman in the road, trapped under a dead horse. Do you stop to help her, knowing that to do so will cost you a day's education, an education that is your only way out of poverty? Well, I don't know what he's on about. Anyway, are you all right, love? You seem a bit on edge tonight. Did you get those raspberry tarts I made? Your mother said I couldn't post food, but I bloody well did. Yes, yeah, I, I got them. Thank you. What on earth's the matter, love? I need to... I need to tell you about something that's happened to Uncle Marcus, something that happened at the meeting. Oh, love, there was a lot said in temper at that meeting. 
No point raking over old wounds. There is actually no correct answer to that dilemma. And do you know why? Because that's real life, guys. There are no easy answers in life. Our privilege, it insulates us from so much... Toby, this is a load of old shit. Just ask a bloody question. Oh, dear. It's all kicking off again. You know, I should have known that an exercise like this would be a waste of time on this family. No emotional intelligence at all. You should all be ashamed. Well, someone else do their round, so Toby will shut up. No, that's not fair. I want to do a round. No. But it's my turn. No. Oh, well, that's a shame. Speak again, love. Nan, wait a second. I, I need to tell you something. I knew there was something wrong. What on earth is it? Something really bad has happened to Uncle Marcus. Bad? Well, what do you mean? Someone's hurt him. Someone's... Oh, Abby, tried love. To... He's not going on about that again, is he? About what? That bloke he said was threatening him. What? Well, it was a few years ago now. Marcus had a bit of trouble with an old business partner. Marcus thought he was trying to kill him. What? Got in a right state over it. Said the bloke was threatening him, sending him violent emails. Well, because the emails were anonymous, so any bloody one could have been sending them. Apparently, he didn't leave his house for months. He was absolutely convinced someone was trying to kill him. Well, nothing happened, of course. If you ask me, he made the whole thing up. He has got a very active imagination, after all. I can't believe he never told you. You're very close, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. I wonder why he kept it from you. Abby? No, I, I'm fine, honestly. Thank, thank you for telling me. Are you going to be all right, love? Yeah, I'm fine. Right, then. See you for the next round. <laughs> Kid, we need to talk. Abby, please, please. If we had more time, I could explain. You said this was real. It is real. How can I trust you? How can I trust anything that you say now? I'm not paranoid. Some guy was making threats. It wasn't in my head. Oh, okay, so maybe I took the threats a little too seriously, but how was I supposed to know? <laughs> how was I supposed to know he wasn't going to follow through? How was I supposed to know that? As far as I was concerned, the guy was nuts. And then June got a hold of it, Abby, and the whole thing got twisted. And I, I, I don't know why I didn't tell you. I don't know. I, 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 I didn't want to scare you. So why are you telling me this time? This time? Abby? It just doesn't make any sense. You you tell me the story that someone's tried to kill you, and now, now I find out that you've done this before. This is not the same. Uh, how? Abby, I'm fucking dying! <laughs> Look. Abby, you either trust me or you don't. And if you don't, then this whole thing is done. And you're never going to know the whole story. Is that what you want? Is that what you want, Abby? Just know this. I'm the only person in this family that would never fucking lie to you. Huh. I, I believe you. You don't know how much I needed to hear that, Abby. Especially with how I'm feeling right now. So I think some of the stuff that Nan said um, helps us. Are you okay? Do you hear that? Hear what? The rats, they're running all over my floor. I can't hear anything. Fucking worms, ah! What? They're crawling down my neck, Abby. Uh, I, I can't see anything. What? There's nothing there. Are you sure? Yeah. Uh, hallucinations have started then. Doc says once I start seeing things, you can count how long I have left in minutes.
I better get back in there then. Wait, I'm sorry. I don't think I'm going to be able to help you much longer. <coughs> Uncle Mark. <coughs> What is it? I'm out of time. No use pandering to their egos anymore, kid. I won't be around long enough. If you want to save me, you got to find the truth. Good luck, good luck, kid. I guess this is it. Absolutely not. I'm telling you, I can do it. This quiz has been enough of a disaster so far. Oh, let your sister have a go. It'll be chaos. Look at her. She's just had a couple of drinks. No harm in that. A couple of drinks? She's had a cellar full. Look, nobody has anything ready. But I do. I have questions. Lots and lots of questions. Can I team up with you, Mum? Oh, I just know I'm going to regret this. You are going to play nicely, aren't you, June? Of course I am. I always play nicely. I'm delighted. Hi, Toby. What was that? Uh, me? No, I thought I heard something outside the van. <sighs> I think we're okay. You can't be too careful with these militias. Of course not. Okay, everybody, respectfully shut up and listen to me. Question one. How many times did Toby tell the school counsellor that I was neglecting oh, him? Oh, God, here we so go. So that we'd be forced into another family therapy session and he could get to see his dickhead father. I know this sounds bad, but I only had the idea after she actually neglected me. I told the counsellor that Mum forgot to cook me tea because she was so drunk, which was the truth. And he organised the first session. I mean, if she'd just let me see Dad in the first place, I wouldn't have had to lie about the rest. What happened to Uncle Marcus at the meeting? Just tell me everything. Why are you asking me? Ask your sister. She was the only one I saw alone with him, OK? She was putting something in his hand. I don't know what, but he looked pretty uncomfortable. So... For those of you that venture to answer, the correct answer is six times. All because I wouldn't let him see the man who cheated on me, who cheated on us for seven years. She's really gone over the edge. Question two. How many of my boyfriends has Felicity stolen? Now, I'm going to make it easier for you. Let's just count the ones while we were at school. <laughs> Jesus! Our mums are a nightmare, aren't they, Abs? I mean, that's why I'm so glad I had my dad. You know, he helped balance me out. He gave me my moral compass. Wasn't he done for tax fraud? Everyone makes mistakes, Abby. Dad was always there for me when I really needed him. Mm. You know, apart from that 18 months, of course. But he was better than a lot of dads I can think of. Well... Some of you clearly think very highly of Flick and rather less of me. Well, let me tell you. I had oodles of boyfriends. Felicity was just scavenging my scraps, but there were plenty of scraps to scavenge. You've got to think bigger. Better than a lot of dads. What are you trying to say? Mum's told me all about your dad, Abby. You know, he wasn't exactly father of the year, was he? You know, all the business trips, all the nights working late. I mean, which birthday did he miss again? Sorry, which birthdays? It was five. What? My mum stole your mum's boyfriend five times. Just one of the stories my mum's told me. Heard a lot about your dad, too. OK. All right, sorry, Abs. Let's just chill out before one of us says something we'll regret, yeah? Hey, Abby, I need you. What is it? What's the matter? Time's up. Doc says if I take the right antidote now, I might just make it. I can't trust my brain right now, kiddo. I need you to pick one. It's okay, Abby. 
Whatever happens, happens. Just choose. Please. It's Thallium. If you say so, kid. Chin chin. Finish this thing. I, I, I can do this. Well, where the hell have you been? Which one of you did it? Abby, are you okay? Who did it? Abby, explain yourself. You tried to kill him! Who poisoned Uncle Marcus? I don't get it. Who was it? Who wanted to murder Uncle Marcus? Abby, love, calm down. No They one... did, Nan. They, they fucking did. Abby, cut this out now. Who fucking did it? Right, that's enough. I warned you once. You bastards! Hey, kid. I, I, I don't know who did it. I'm... Abby, Abby. I'm so sorry. It's I... okay. You saved me. Abby, you've done enough. Now for the rest of them. This ain't over. 